Now, remember that we had to calculate the value of an asset, and that wasn't straightforward. There's a lot of things that actually go into the value to the company of an asset. Well, the same thing is with a countermeasure. How do you determine the cost of a countermeasure? Is it what you pay for it? Well, that's one piece of it. Um, it's what you pay for it. It's maintenance fees. It's how that uh, countermeasure could affect uh, productivity. Maybe it slows down productivity. Uh, the man hours that have to be involved. So the actual cost of a countermeasure needs to be understood. It's not just it's not just revenue. It's not just how much you pay for it. And a lot of companies went through this when uh, they were first putting intrusion detection systems in. They, you know, you, you bought an intrusion detection system, you put it in your environment, and you didn't realize all the false positives, false, um, all the alarms that were going to go off uh, because you have to properly tune the sensitivity of it. So a lot of companies found out there's so many man hours in maintaining an IDS and that would go into the cost of the countermeasure. So it's not just what you pay for it.